What is up, everybody? It's Superverse TV here today, and we have to talk about the butthurtness from PC Gamer with this article right here, with this post, pretty much. Now, this is a post talking about Microsoft officially announcing that Activision Blizzard King is a part of Xbox and Microsoft services going forward. And so they say Microsoft celebrates its conquest of Activision and the triumph of cap capitalism with a montage video that matches up Modern Warfare, Halo, Diablo, Starfield, and more. Now you could just, it, this post just reeks of butthurtness. Like really? Would you be saying that if Sony published a, a publisher, a big publisher, a big, or more, more studios? I don't think they would say that. But because it's Microsoft who acquires these different companies, these guys are butthurt and mad. <laughs> Which is just hilarious. It's like, really? The triumph of capitalism. Okay. <laughs> just never shocks me because, once again, PlayStation buys exclusive. It's, it's, it's fine. It's okay. But when Microsoft does it, you get these crazy headlines and titles like this. Like, make it make sense. There's just so much obvious bias right here. It's just unbelievable. But. Let's see what people got to say about this right here. This post right here. This guy says that you are mad. <laughs> this merger brings more games to more people. Stop it. Yes. I don't see how this is a bad thing for the industry overall. It's only bad for Sony fanboys and Xbox haters because, once again, Xbox made a big power move and it's paying off. Like, all these old Activision games are going to be in Game Pass. So, how does this negatively affect the gaming community? No one can explain that. It doesn't negatively affect the gaming community whatsoever. And also, even these older IPs that haven't been used in a while, like Guitar Hero, there is rumors of them bringing that franchise back once this merger goes through. So, once again, this is not a negative for the gaming industry, but these people like PC Gamer want you to make it believe it's a bad thing because they're butthurt that Microsoft has the power move, has the power play right now. <laughs> that they're actually giving them competition, like Saudi and like Saudi and Dilla said. If you want competition, let us compete. And they are not competing now, and Sony Sony fanboys don't like it. It's so disappointing how you rich snobs don't want regular families to enjoy games with an affordable subscription. It's absolutely disgusting. The future is green, baby. Get used to it. <laughs> well, that statement sounded a little salty. It really did. Like, jeez. You're supposed to be a you're supposed to be a gaming journalist, and you're so butthurt that Microsoft owns this these these publishers this publisher now. Uh, PC gamer, that's right. Get it all out. You need to move past these tantrums. LOL, pony site, <laughs> which is funny because they they focus on PC gaming, but they sound like some Sony fanboys with this with this post right here though. Outlets showing their true colors, yeah. You could tell when they saw that trailer of these different these different franchises being part of Xbox now like Crash, Bandicoot, Spyro, Call of Duty, Candy Crush, Guitar Hero. They had to be fuming each by why every second pass. <laughs> it's just funny that people say that now they went from saying how Xbox has no games now to Xbox is just doing way too much. That's just hilarious. These people are bought and paid for by Sony. Andy Chalk, where was the same energy when Sony was blocking games from being released on Xbox? I agree. Where was the same energy yet? They didn't, they never showed this energy before when Sony was literally just blocking games and being off Xbox's services, Game Pass. So, no criticism there for capitalism when a massive corporation was paying to keep games off another platform. Yeah, they can't answer that. <laughs> Once again. Uh, PlayStation gets these games or keep games over the services is just fine but when Microsoft buys exclusive makes publishers exclusive which they aren't even really doing to be honest like Call of Duty is still going to be multi-plat which is the biggest game that people are complaining about this is going to be a multi-plat it doesn't like get exclusive deals on PlayStation anymore and yet people are still butthurt about it it's just like funny how a site full of ass has something to say about capitalism yes <laughs> doesn't make any sense are you partners with Sony too? Do you have real? Are you have? Are you? Do you have real journalists in your media? <laughs> you mad, bruh? Yeah, people are just clowning this website at this point. Okay, so apparently this is Metro, but I know Metro has like a reader 
um, you can read her. Pe- people, uh, readers can actually submit an article or whatever. So I don't really take Metro, but PC Gamer is kind of the worst because this is actual official journalist. While Metro does anybody can submit something and, and you can put it through. But this is an article from Metro saying Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 beta is awful and Microsoft has wasted its money. And yeah, this is a reader's future. That means somebody else wrote this who's not part of Metro officially. So. Uh, clearly, you're not clearly you're not interested in gamers nor consumers, so maybe it's time to switch focus operating systems instead. If you don't let them, then I do hope Microsoft denies your BSI feature review codes to hurt where it counts your ad click slash revenue. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I don't know. Maybe Microsoft should take note of all these companies who are like like completely like legit against Xbox in general or Microsoft in general at this point because. But this acquisition, like these kind of these true colors are showing because of this acquisition right here. So Xbox wins and you cry. Yeah. Still bitter about this deal because it hurts your beloved PlayStation. You changed your name to PlayStation Gamer already because we know you hate Xbox and PC. Right? Your publication is not solely at all. It's only comments just roasting these guys consistently. Like, jeez. You call yourself PC Gamer while writing about Xbox like a basic PlayStation fanboy media page. This deal is actually good for real life PC gamers, not only PC Game Pass users, but Steam users. Any PC user that now knows 100% that all Activision Blizzard games will be on PC day one. Yeah, so if you truly are PC gamers, how is this negatively affecting you in any way? I, I just don't get it, but you know. I think some of these true colors are being shown right now. <laughs> uh... Rent seems to be due. Hope you never get another single review copy. Biased much. Another L from PC Gamer. Clown, your site is dog crap. PC Gamer just needs them clicks. Oh, man. This is hilarious. We are in a new day and age where literally journalists can be roasted completely on the internet now. Like before... Game of journalists was pretty much you just saw them like on videos, like on whether it be like on G4 or like IGN or something like that. You couldn't actually interact with them, but now that people can actually interact with these guys, <laughs> they're just getting roasted, which is just hilarious. Uh, don't care, didn't ask, get real, seethe, cope, mauled. Okay, weird take, yeah, that is definitely weird take right there. Um, Someone is nappy. Wow, this is just dripping salt. <laughs> Who wrote this? Right in the headline. Oh, I'm not angry. Yeah. Of course, Sony Gamer, of course, give me attention is what they're pretty much saying. Yeah, they're definitely mad about this. Which I don't understand. Like, once again, this is only good for the industry. Only people are upset about this is Sony fanboys in general because once again this is this is getting all these games at an affordable price for a lot of people can play these different games. But you know, people are mad about that for whatever reason. Uh PC Gamer for whatever reason has a hard one for Xbox. The only triumph going on is Microsoft being open to unionization efforts by some of the developers. Of course you didn't mention that of the fact that it lost its case. And the CMA came to Xbox to negotiate after it lost its case. Okay. Uh, and we have two words for you. Suck it. <laughs> More disgusting, disingenuous takes from the garbage journalist at PC Gamer. Hashtag what a joke. And there is more. So that Metro and PC Gamer so far just waiting on IGN's anti Xbox rant, and we are three for three. PC pushing clowns. You literally call PC Gamer. Shouldn't you be celebrating this more? You would think, but you know, kind of sound like Sony fanboy gamers at this point. <laughs> wow, look at the dude that wrote this article. <laughs> oh, man. 
Where are these articles when Sony does all their third-party deals to block other platforms from getting the game? Yeah, you would think that'd definitely be a headline on PC Gamer's website because that's more of a, of a bigger news than actually blocking games from other, web, from other consoles. But, you know, apparently Microsoft getting publishers is, a, is just the worst of worst thing ever, apparently. But yeah, more anti-Xbox from these game journalists, these so-called neutral, so to say. So, what's new at this point? We know how this goes. If Sony does it, it's good. If Microsoft does it, it's bad. So, it's, it's, it's pretty obvious at this point. But I am going to include it right here. I think PC Gamer is a clown website, and this journalist is the, 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 the head clown in charge there. He's the, one of the biggest clowns I've seen on the internet because... Just the word it like this, it just it just it just reeks of butthurtness. You supposed to be a so called neutral website. It's like that's a joke at this point, but definitely wanna see your thoughts down below about this. Leave a like for like this video and as always for watching and peace.